Okay, we're going to make my Christmas shortbread. Hopefully you've got your ingredients ready, just three things, nice and easy. You've got your four ounces of sugar, got eight ounces of butter, and 12 ounces of plain flour. And I've got a little tip for the plain flour. If you've poured it straight from the bag into your bowl, you'll probably have lumps like this. And you could sift it through a sieve, but it'll take quite a while and you'll probably make a mess. So a little tip, just using a little hand whisk, just whisk it up briefly in the bowl and it'll just get rid of some of the lumps. There we go. And then hopefully you've got your cutters. Today we've got, I think it's a penguin, a Christmas stocking, an angel, a star and what looks like a drunk Christmas tree. So we better get on, just need to pop everything into the food processor and give it a good blitz up. And what we're looking for in the consistency of this is um, a fine crumb. So when it comes together in a crumb, you'll know it'll be ready. So I've put the flour in, that's in with the sugar. And if you don't have a food processor, you don't need one for this, you can mix it together in a bowl in your hands and just rub everything together with your fingertips. But um, it works it's just so much easier and quicker with the, with the food processor. The butter. There we go. Now we'll put the lid on and we'll give it a good little blend together. And um, if you have a look and see when I stop, then if you stop at the same time, hopefully they should be ready. So go. Okay, hopefully you've stopped too. So just take the lid off and if you come and have a look and see what it looks like. See, it's all blended together so you've got a fine crumb. Okay, so all we need to do now is just lightly dust our work surface with plain flour and then empty the contents of your food processor on top. So just lightly dust the work surface. Let me just take the food processor and empty it out. There we go. And the food processor should come out quite clean. It means everything's pretty much blended together. So all that's left to do now is just bring it all together into a big lump with your hands. And hopefully with the butter being quite soft, see how it comes together nice and easily? And then just using the lump, you just want it to pick up all the little bits of crumb. Okay. Makes you want to just bake and eat that, that would be nice. Not quite as Christmassy though. Okay, and just work it together in your hands just so that you can try and get a, one big lump. Add this to it. There we go. Almost there. There's no kneading or anything like that with this. So just, it'll just take a little while, and it's, as the butter sort of heats up with the um, the heat of your hands, it should come together a little bit more. There we go. And we can bring that last bit together at the end. So now it's just a case of rolling it out. So just flatten it down slightly with your hand. So you've got a lump of it like that. 
and then take your trusty rolling pin and we'll just add a little bit of flour to the rolling pin so just using your fingertips just run the flour over the rolling pin and then start rolling it out there we go. If you find that it sticks a little bit to the rolling pin, don't worry. Just add a little bit more flour to your rolling pin. It's not going to affect the recipe at all, so you'll be absolutely fine. And we're going to have to, what we'll do, the way we'll do this is, because there's loads around the edges, you'll never be able to get those rolled out prettily. It'll always break up. So we're going to roll it out into a nice, um, even thickness, cut some out, then put it back into a ball and do some more. So what we're... We're really just trying to get them nice and thin, these ones, just like the, the sort of, like a big thick biscuit. So I think that's about right. That's just a nice flat surface. And I'll show you once I've cut one out. I think I'm going to go for a star first, so just pressing down do a couple of stars probably looking at about half a centimetre thick and then we're going to have some angels just pressing down making sure you're going through the through the, the dough and Christmas stocking. I can just about fit one in. Right, so you should be able to pull away the rest of the pastry and you should be left with your shapes. Just like this. And then using your palette knife, just very carefully ease them out off the work surface, your shapes. There you go. And pop them onto your baking tray. And just tidy that one up. We don't want... Looks like you've got bits falling off it. There we go. So I can pick this up and I'll show you how thick it is. So it's about half a centimetre if you can see that. So we just do the same for all the other ones and then that will give you a good idea of what you should be doing. So again you've got just using your palette knife just very gently picking them up trying to keep the shape and then popping them onto your baking tray. Right so I'll just quickly do these then I'll just show you how easy it is to to pull the, um, the dough back together. And these are great if you've got kids, you can get them, get them to pick their favorite cutter and you can make them with them nice and easy. There's no knives or anything out. Food processors should be quite safe if, if you're using that with them. Just popping them on to the baking tray. Go. Right, and then you're obviously left with a nice big mess of shortbread dough, so just bring it back together with your hands. Like that, and roll it out again. And then lastly, all you need to do is so you're going to need to get a fork, which I don't have, excuse me, and then you just need to prick the shortbread all the way through, just like that, just all the way through, just a few times, 
If you do that on every one, and then just pop these in the oven for 20 minutes until they've just started to go golden brown, and then when you take them out, just transfer them to a wire rack, and then that way they'll cool and harden, and they'll be absolutely fantastic, ready to eat. And that's it, and I hope you enjoy them, and happy Christmas.